Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is a promotional image from Treyarch. It's talking, obviously, about the world reveal, as you can see, of Black Ops 3 Zombies at Comic-Con International San Diego. And you can see the Black Ops 3 logo there as well. Now, there are two images that we have, this one that you can see, and this one that you can see as well. Now, I'm going to talk about this one first, because this is the older image. It says three days until zombies, that's all well and good. You can see this sort of hand outline here. What I'm actually going to do is very slightly bump the colors. I say very slightly, just so you can get a better look at it, basically. You can see that you've got the sort of outline of the hand here, and this isn't really a comfortable hand position. If you try and put your hand in this kind of shape with your palm outstretched, your index finger back, and your thumb splayed out, you'll see that it's not a very comfy position. And so I think that this is a zombie. I think it's a zombie's hand wearing what looks almost like some kind of medical gown here. I mean, it's really hard to tell. and an intriguing thing about this is this sort of area. It, it's just not really very clear because I you sort of expect there to be an arm there, right? You think, okay, this guy, this zombie is facing forwards towards us, okay? Because you can see what, like from the position of their thumb, the thumb will be on the inside towards the body. So it's facing us. If it is a zombie, that is. It could not be a zombie. It's just my sort of speculation. But there doesn't seem to be much going on here, so I guess it might be missing an arm or something like that. Or there's something else going on entirely. Looks like there might be some blood splattery type stuff going on. Very hard to say. But now we're going to move on to what I think is extremely cool. This image. Let's just get that tweaking done. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to just bump the colors like that. We can always revert if need be. So what we appear to have here, okay? What we appear to have is this sort of section being a wall, like a concrete wall or something like that. Same here, like it's uh, it's continued. And then initially, I thought that this was a big metal door, okay? I thought that it was like a completely filled in door. We could see some sort of reflections on the door. Uh, we could see this thing sort of pinned on the door. That's what I initially thought. You can also see these chains here, these links basically, like a massive links in this huge great chain that's going all the way across here. You can actually see the braces as well. But then I, well, I made a video and I uploaded the video, but just before I made it public, I realized I was looking at it wrong because I don't think that this is a clean sheet of metal sort of thing. And there's another sheet of metal here and this would open to reveal something. That's what I initially thought. And that's what I feel like some of you guys might think is the case as well. But Looking back at this image, oh, wait, nope, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Looking back at this one, sorry, you can see in the background, there appears to be some kind of metal or, or, or just something, basically, some window-like structure in the background there. It's quite hard to see, again, because of the grain and the distortion and all that, but there's something window-like in the background there. We go to this, and what I realized when I saw the image, it was, it was much smaller, and so that's what sort of gave me the perspective, I guess. This, you can probably hear my mouse, this is, like, uh, I don't really know a, a word to describe it that's very fitting, but it's like a grate, like a metal grate. So that is like a metal bar, and then that is a metal bar, and that is a metal bar, and so like that would go all the way across, and you've got your sort of metal rungs that go up, and it would go across like that, similar to the sort of thing that you might associate with a prison or something along those lines. You've got your metal braces on here attached to those as well. And the interesting thing, well, there are a couple of interesting things we can talk about, actually. You've got your, your metal going across as well, your chains. I've mentioned that already. But here, that appears to be a hand, okay? That's what I reckon that is. Now, initially when I was talking about it, I was saying, you know what this looks like to me, guys? This looks like someone with their hands sort of cuffed above their head. And so the head would be around here, their arms would be going up like that, and they would be standing there. But now, now that I've realized what I think it is that I'm actually looking at here, I think that this person has their hand on the bar. They're holding the bar itself. Maybe they're trying to break the door down. That's what I'm getting at. Maybe, just maybe, they, these sorts of outlines that we can see are zombies. Maybe this is the outline, and I'm talking about the background stuff, not the foreground. We'll get onto that in just a second, because that's very interesting as well. But just maybe we've got basically like a zombie in the background there. We've got maybe another zombie here as well, sort of like staggering forward. And we've got one right in the foreground with its arm up wearing maybe some kind of orange shirt or something like that. And that's where its head would be, I guess, as well. And it's holding the bar that I mentioned just now. That's what I think is going on in this picture. 
Now, this is a super, super interesting image for a number of reasons. We've got this red stuff at the top. I don't know what that is. I, I just, it doesn't really fit for me. It's just a bit confusing, okay? We've got this grate here that we're looking through, and in the foreground, we have this, okay? So, imagine there's a pin here, right? Attaching this to this, this pole. And there's a pin here as well. And then you're hanging uh, some kind of drape, some kind of banner, some kind of flag almost, like so. And it's sort of hanging down like that, and that would be where the bottom would be. And that is where it's positioned. It's sort of on the gate itself. That's what it looks like to me. The very interesting thing, or one of the very interesting things, I guess, is that not only is this sort of pinned on this door facing towards us, so let's say that these are zombies, okay? Let's say that these are zombies being contained behind a metal grate, okay? If this is being pinned this way, that would suggest that someone or something is going to be reading whatever is written on it, because it looks like we've got some text on it, from this side. Now, I know that I'm sort of going quite deep here, and there isn't too much we can get out of an image like this, because it is so distorted, and it is very hard to see what's going on. But I really think that we're going to probably get another one of these images tomorrow, and then the reveal is going to be upon us, and so we might as well pick at the very few things that we do have currently and try and get a little closer to what the hell is going on. This flag, okay? This little flag here. It's like a black flag by the looks of things. It looks like it has some text on it. If we look in, in the, sort of this region here, that looks like an 8, and this looks like a 6. It looks like it says, and it's quite scratched as well. It's like scratched into it. 8, 6. Then we have some stuff here that, for the life of me, I can't make out. I don't know what that is. I also don't know what this stuff is down here, but... There. That sort of looks like a D behind the T of the International. It looks like there might be a T down here as well, and maybe an E there too, behind that T of International. So it looks like there is a word maybe back here, but it's super hard to figure out what it is. It also looks like we do have a maybe 86, but again, it's very hard to say. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm extremely, extremely excited for Black Ops 3 Zombies. It's been something I've been waiting for for years and years now, and we're finally getting some tangible stuff, and we'll be getting even more on the 9th of July at the World Reveal for Black Ops 3 Zombies. But this sort of thing just makes me so damn excited, man, because I, I, I just love the aesthetic. I love the fact that we've got these grainy images that we can hardly make any... I mean, th this is the sort of thing that... You might expect to see sort of plucked out of an old film from like the, I don't know, the 30s or something. Like this extremely grainy, just weirdly shot stuff. I love it, man. I, I just love the aesthetic. Even though I hardly know what's going on here, I am damn excited for Black Ops 3 Zombies. So I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like. If you haven't, let me know why in the comment section down below. On the 9th of July, make sure you're on my channel to get all your Black Ops 3 Zombies news. And if you have any idea for... Any ideas, rather, sorry, for why this black flag might be here with this weird text on it? What is it there to signify? What is it there to show? Why is it facing towards us rather than towards the people that are on the other side of this metal barrier? Are they zombies? Are they inmates in a prison? Are, what are, like, what is going on here? I'd be extremely interested in hearing what you guys think. I've been Mr. Roth Waffles, and, I mean, I could talk about this for a while longer because I'm so damn excited, but I'll save you the, uh... <laughs> I'll save you the excess video length and I'll cut it off. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.